Hello guys, welcome to Photoshop Tutorials. Subscribe to our channel for regular updates. In this tutorial we are gonna see how to transform a normal picture to a beautiful one. The source files are given as a link in the description below. Select the background layer and click on Ctrl or Command J to duplicate a layer. Now click on Ctrl or Command Shift A to open Camera Raw so we have to perform some basic exposure adjustments. The main thing you have to do in Camera Raw is to cut the shadows and decrease the highlights to bring down all the overexposed areas. I'm decreasing the exposure a bit since the skin is exposed. The main objective of adjusting the basic settings is to make the picture look like an even light portrait. Hit on OK once you're done. Let's tone up the skin. Open a new selective colors adjustment layer. Adjusting the reds and yellows to tone up the skin. Now let's do some local dodge and burn. Open a new layer, click on Shift, F5. On the dialog box select Contents option and click on 50% Gray, Blending Mode Normal and Opacity 100%. Hit on OK. Turn the gray layer blending mode to soft light. Select the brush tool, masking colors black and white. Brush setting opacity 100%, flow 1% or changeable accordingly. Now select white and start dodging the subject. Only highlight the areas where you see lights on the subject. Once you're done with the dodge, select black and start burning, burn only the areas where you see shadows. A tip for the beginners. If you're in the starting stage of learning to dodge and burn, you can use two gray layers, one for dodge and one for burn. If you're a pro then you can go with a single layer. See that you cover all the areas in a subject. The more time you take the more effective output you will get. Ok let me speed up this process. Ok guys we are done with the local dodge and burn. Let's boost up the eye colors. Opening a new levels adjustment layer. And let's play with the colors. Ok this is fine let's layer mask it. Click on Ctrl or Command I to invert the layer mask and start brushing the eyes. See that the pupil remains black. Open a new level adjustment layer, increase shadows a bit. Now select the brush tool and start brushing out the subject from the dark using a layer mask. Ok we are done with this step. Now let's do some global dodge and burn. This effect will create more depth on the subject. Open a new curves adjustment layer 
and pull the curve down a bit to increase the shadows. Click on Controller Command I to invert the layer mask. Select the Brush Tool, Brush Setting, Opacity 100%, Flow 1% or Changeable accordingly. And start burning the subject. Burn only the areas where you see shadows on the subject. Once you're done, open a new curves adjustment layer and pull the curve up a bit to increase highlights. Click on controller command I to invert the layer mask. Select the brush tool. Brush setting. Opacity 100%. Flow 1% or changeable accordingly. Start dodging the subject. Dodge only the areas where you see highlights on the subject. Okay, we've come to the end of global dodge and burn. Let's add some blush to the subject. Open a new layer and change the blending mode to soft light. Select the brush tool and choose red color from the color palette. Brush setting, opacity 100%, flow 1% or changeable accordingly. Start brushing on the nose and on the cheeks gently. If overdone, decrease the opacity to look natural. Let's tone up the picture. Open a new selective colors adjustment layer and let's only adjust the blacks. This will create a matte finish effect. Okay, this is fine. Let's move on to the final image tone boosting process. Select the topmost layer and click on Controller Command, Shift, Alt, E to merge all the below layers to form a new layer. Now click on Controller Command, Shift A to open Camera Raw. Let's now boost up the image using Camera Raw. The final color grading plays a major role of fine tuning a picture. Most of the professionals will bring up their personal touch using this final tuning process. Okay now let's get into it. Adjusting the basic settings to see whether this will bring up something better. Moving on to curves to brighten the highlights and increasing the shadows to form a depth. Let's go to split toning which creates the final tone of the image. I'm looking for a reddish green color. OK this is fine for me. Hit on OK once you're done. We've come to the end of this tutorial, if you have any doubts you can ask them on the comments section below. Hope this tutorial was useful, hit on the like button if you like this video, subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon for regular updates.